During the recruitment process, things can go very quiet in between job interviews. And it is a great source of frustration for many of my clients who often feel they're not getting enough feedback, they're not getting enough uh, intelligence about where they sit in the recruitment process. And uh, an increasing level of frustration can creep in. And as a result, they can often push the organisation for feedback before they really should be trying to do that. They should be, you know, in my opinion, trying to be as patient as possible during the recruitment process. Now, in my experience, a good recruitment process typically takes about eight weeks from beginning to end. Keep in mind, most employers want to undertake a number of interviews these days. They will often get you to meet with your boss your future boss, your peers, your colleagues, your team, maybe even your direct reports as part of a recruitment process. And they might even want you to meet with the board or or senior leadership members before they sign off on a letter of offer to you. That process in a good scenario takes eight weeks. In a long scenario, it can take 16, 20 weeks. Uh, You know, it's not uncommon for these uh, recruitment processes, particularly at senior level, to take four to five months from beginning to end. And if you demonstrate at any point during the recruitment process a level of frustration, if you try and push for feedback before an appropriate time, you can often come off on the back foot here. So I try and counsel my clients that patience really is a virtue and to, you know, sort of operate on the basis that no news is good news. It is going to take time. You may not always be told everything that's going on in the recruitment process. For example, they may not tell you we're considering some other candidates this week. We're taking another candidate through for a a deeper look and we're going to see where that goes. They're not going to come back and tell you, well, we went down that pathway and that candidate didn't work out. So now we're circling back to you for another look. They're not going to be that frank with you and you just have to trust the process. Let them run the process how they want to run it. Let them explore other candidate options without you being the person on the phone pressuring and pressuring. Have you made a decision? When are you making a decision? Um, Or even worse, a passive aggressive response where you kind of go to the recruiter or the employer and say, I'm assuming you haven't decided uh, I'm the right candidate, uh, but I'd appreciate some feedback in due course. And you sort of chuck a bit of a tanty and expect to get a good reaction. You won't. So be really, really careful. Uh, Just be really, really respectful of the process. Things take time, they take longer than you expect. Uh, It can go silent for weeks and then it can resurge again. Operational matters may have taken over. And look, even in my own world, uh, a good lesson for me, I applied for a board seat, didn't hear anything for literally weeks and weeks and weeks. And I just had written it off in my own mind. I didn't try and seek feedback or anything like that, but I'd written it off and and just had forgotten all about it. And then I got a phone call out of the blue from the chairman who said he'd been traveling, he'd been sick, he'd been away. And there was a whole heap of reasons why this search had been put on hold for literally months and then had restarted. And it was just a lesson. You know, you just cannot assume uh, that, you know, anything during the recruitment process unless you hear it from the horse's mouth. So stay patient, stay calm, keep yourself really busy during the recruitment process, pursue other options, the candidate that, you know, must be, you know, continuing to pursue other career opportunities, that role may fall over. And keep in mind that the employer is also dancing with other candidates. So, you know, you may miss out. So keep busy, keep active, keep pursuing other options. It'll keep you fresh and current during the recruitment process. And don't stress out if you don't hear for a, a period of time in between the, the, the interviews. That's pretty normal in these scenarios. And um, I've found over the years, patience is a virtue. Just let the process run its natural course.